All right, well, I had a message the other day from someone saying that the Octortal Rescue was difficult, and they said they've never done so bad before on it. But we had a pretty busy weekend. I actually had uh, two of my kids had basketball tournaments on Saturday. I was coaching one of them, and then my other son had the district swim meet also on Saturday, and I was the announcer for the swim meet. So it was a crazy weekend. Uh, yesterday we took the youth group skiing, so just really busy. So I thought I'd jump in my time machine and go back to last Friday and try this puzzle out. So if you're not familiar with Octortal Rescue, um, basically it's like normal Octortal, which is Wordle times eight. Uh, but it's giving us the first four words that we have to start with, and then we have to try to rescue the puzzle from that. So it's kind of like when we do the octortal starting with the chordal words, um, but it's just random, four random words here. So these do not look like good starting words. Um, we have condo, goody, dryer, and buyer. Now, condo and goody both have two O's, which isn't great. One of them's even in the same spot. The D is in the same spot. Dryer and buyer both have the Y-E-R. Um, yeah, so a lot of duplication, which is not good. Uh, there is one word with a D, which is unfortunate because we are checking two spots for D. Um, looks like we've got two words with Ys. Uh, we do have several words with O's, so that's good because we, we have checked for a double O, and we don't have a double O on any of them. So, all right, well, let's let's see what we can figure out, I guess. Um, so we've got the G, U, and Y here. I think this is a good one to look at. What could this be? It could be gutsy. That's my first instinct. Probably something like gulpy. Gutsy is a better word than gulpy, but, um, ooh, gushy is a good word too. That's also better than gulpy. Gutsy and gush gushy are both pretty good. All right, there's probably something else it can be, but definitely those are what I'm thinking so far. So, man, we don't have much anywhere else. Okay, this, this, we've got the U and the E, and there is an N. It's probably not going to be N-U. I mean, it could be. I'm not sure what that would be, but it's possible. I think much more likely is E-N, especially since we don't have the R or the D to put after the E. You know, what's gonna come after the, there's some other things you could put, like an S or a T or something, but R, D, and N are probably the best for the N there. So, what would that be? Um, hmm, I'm actually not sure. Now that I've said the N is probably for sure at the end, I'm not, I'm not even sure what that would be. Be something like Lumen, I guess. Lumen would work. All right. Well, let's think about what. What if the N is at the beginning? Maybe I. Maybe I discounted that too early. Oh, actually, well, or at both spots. I actually wasn't thinking that, but it is a possibility, I suppose. You could do something like Nukes. It's not great. It's not great, but it is a possibility. Hmm. Well, okay. So, where else do we look? Where else do we look? This only has an O, this has an O, and an O, and the R, the R either has to be first or fourth. Now, we've only checked E, O, and U. We need to do A and I. So, what I'm thinking is we need to do five completely new letters. Um, A and I, probably, at, we could do waste. That would work. Is that what we want to do, though? I don't know if we want to do the W. That would um, let us figure out, you know, gutsy and gushy and such. Or gulpy. No, I think I think I want to do tails instead. I think L is a better letter to check than W. So that is five new letters, five good letters. You know, if if I, if I had a word that I was pretty sure I knew the answer to, I'd go ahead and guess it. But we really just don't have enough. So we're going to go with tails and hope that that gives us enough to get some words that'll give us enough to get some other words and because after this guess, the rest have to be correct answers because you only have 
nine guesses for eight words, and we're using one of them right now. Let's do tails. Okay, okay, got us a bunch of information at least. Okay, this has an L, so this is probably Lumen then. Yeah. I think it almost has to be, right? Yeah, it's got to be Lumen. Okay, good, good. So that, that let us check for the M, which there is two words with M's. Okay, so over here we've got O, M, and E, and there's the N. Now, the E, I would want to put the E at the end, right? Right, that's my, my instinct, but... It's not going to be N-O-E, I don't think. And so the O would have to be at the beginning. And it's not going to be N-M-E. So it would have to be, um... It would have to be like that. So I'm kind of thinking the E isn't at the end. M-E-N... I'm not sure what that is. All right, well, let's look elsewhere. So over here, we were thinking gutsy, and we got the T and the S. Um, oh, I should have done that one after Tails. Oh, but well, we knew Lumen anyway. That's right. It didn't really matter. All right, so, I mean, it's either gutsy or it's gusty. Oh, gusty is a word. That's right. Gusty is a word. Oh, no. All right, well, we got to hope that there's an S or a T, third or fourth, somewhere. Otherwise, we might have to be gutsy and just guess a 50-50. Okay, here we've got... This is probably Diddy, because after the D, you almost have to have a vowel, because we can't do like an L or something. You might be able to do DL, but even DL isn't very good. DW, I don't really like, I mean, maybe? I think it's gotta be a vowel. You could do DY, but then you'd have to have TIY, which is clearly not a thing. So it's gotta be DI. And the Y, and there's a T, oh, Ditsy? Yeah, Ditsy is a thing too. Okay, well, again, if we if we guessed Gutsy, it, well, no, that wouldn't help. We need, to, we need to check a T in the fourth position somewhere is what we need, because that would tell us if there's a T there, or if it's not a T, it could be Ditsy, and that would, yeah, so we need a T in the fourth position somewhere. Unfortunately, the only word with the T is this one. Is there any chance that the T is gonna be... No, it's not, because it's gonna be moist. Hmm. It's gonna be moist, which does not check the T in the right spot. Um, it does check the S in the right spot for Gutsy, though, so that will... That will help. Okay, so it's... It's Gusty. It is Gusty. Ooh, perfect, because that T will check for here. Because the S is... So it's Gusty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And so the T is there, which means this is Diddy. I think, I mean, it's D-I something T-Y. And it can't be dirty, because there's no R. Yeah, it's gotta be Diddy. Okay. Good, good. Wow, that was, that worked out really well. The T there giving us, well, the S there, the S in moist giving us Gusty, which then checked the T there, which gave us Diddy. That was huge, okay. So, uh, where do we want to look next? Um, how about right here in the middle? This is... We've got the O, there's an L, A, and S. The L is second or fifth. The S is early on, either first or second. It could be, could it be S, L, O, A? I don't know if I like that. But, S, L is pretty good. Otherwise, it has to be probably S something, O, A, L? Yeah, if the S is first, and the L isn't second, then it has to be O-A-L. Um... Shoal? Yeah, I thought that was a word. Hmm. If the S was second, I don't know... I mean, you'd almost have to have a vowel at the beginning, which would have to be probably an A-S. Yeah, it'd have to be, because we... We don't have, we only have the one O, and we don't have any other vowels besides A and O. A, S, O, and then you'd have to have, I don't, I don't really like that. You could have another A, but that's not a word. Hmm, I don't know. I feel like, I'm just not confident on that one. Let's look over here. We've got, again, the O. We've got L, A, and R to go with it this time. And again, the L is second or fifth. 
R is first or fourth. So if the R, I don't think it's going to be RL. So either the L is second and the R is fourth. Or the R is first and the L is last. In which case it would have to be AL. If the R was first, it would have to be that. I don't really like that. So I'm thinking L second, R fourth. Could it have, it could be Flora? Flora would work. Is there something else it could be? I think it has to be Flora, but again, I'm not super confident that I'm not missing something else as a possibility. So we'll come back to that one. Uh, this, we have the I, E, S, and N. So I, N, E, maybe? The S has to be earlier on. Swine is possibility. So is spine. And shine. Well, we were thinking about doing an H over here. If we do end up guessing Shoal, I guess that will check for the H. I think it's gotta be one of those though. Or, or, it could also be Snipe. <sighs> all right, all right. Well, um, what about over here? We don't know on this one, do we? I don't think we do we do we even have a guess over here? I don't think we did. We we decided we don't think the E is at the end. E something N O M Venom Venom I think Venom is really good there, actually. Yeah, yeah, let's go with Venom. I feel better about that one than the others. Okay, good, Venom. Now, did that help us at all with anything else? Not really, not really. This one, I mean, it ruled out another spot for the E, but other than that, and we were thinking the E at the end anyways. All right, so we've got three words left. Um, which reminds me that I need to adjust some things over here. Three words left, and... Alright, well I think, I think... I think Flora is the one I'm the most confident in, so let's go with that. Okay. Good, now here... Okay, so we now know the L is at the end, for sure. So it's... Gotta be S something O A L, I think. I think it has to be. Which I think is probably Shoal, right? I think I think it's gotta be Shoal. Let's go with that. Okay, Shoal, good. And then we're gonna shift things there for our last guess. Now, unfortunately, we weren't able to narrow this down completely. So we've still got uh, Swine or Spine or Snipe as possibilities. So, so I guess maybe I should have done waste instead of tails because it would have checked for the W. But the P would have been helpful because we still don't know. Yeah, we still wouldn't know. Waste would have been, I mean, in hindsight, in hindsight, waste would have been good because it would have also checked the S, uh, the S in the fourth position, which we, we got with moist anyways, but would have helped with the gusty versus gutsy. Um, we still wouldn't know Spine or Snipe if we'd done Waste. If we'd done Pails instead of Tails, but, I mean, if we'd done Pails instead of Tails, we wouldn't know Gutsy or Gusty versus Gushy. Um, which one do we think is most likely? I feel like they're all equally likely. Swine, Spine, and Snipe, and we've... We don't have, we haven't checked N, second, or fourth. We haven't done a P or a W. Um, 
You know, swine was the first one I thought of. So let's just go with swine. Um, there's a good chance that we're gonna, well, there's a 66, at least a 66% chance we're gonna miss this because there could be another word I'm not thinking of, but. Uh, let's just go with swine and we'll see what happens. Oh, snipe. That figures. All right, well, I don't know. I, I mean, I, what would have been a better fifth guess? Because I don't feel like we had any words for sure yet after the first four. And so you almost just have to get new letters and those are the best letters to get, I feel like. I don't know. I mean, obviously pales probably would have been good in, in hindsight, but you know, you don't know that. So I don't know. Interesting. So if you did this one the other day, let me know what you did for your fifth word. And, or the first word you get to guess, I guess. And how the whole thing went for you. Did you survive? Did you um, end up with a, you know, a 50-50 or a 33 at the end? And how'd it go for you? And be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Got a rotten string of bad luck ahead of me now. That is if you believe in any of these various superstitions. Oh, okay. Well, that was really good on the left. Awesome. Ballet over here. Okay, it is L and T, just like I was thinking now. Alf alphabet. Alphabet. There we go. That's a good one. <laughs>